Right, I found the washer. Luckily that wasn't too far away. Let's go and start off with putting these steering plates together. So, that one uh, might be the left one. That just will go on there with a couple of screws running through the top. So, let's get that, that one put together. We'll do one side, and then uh, you won't need to see me do both sides because it's just the same. Okay. Put a couple of screws in here. Once that's in, we do the ball stud. I assume you can buy different um, steering plates so you can um, play with different Ackerman effects. But yeah, kit ones are in S2, I'm assuming that you can get them in carbon and you can get all of these in aluminium as well these hubs and yokes um, which will be good for your sort of high grip scenarios carpet and astroturf right so that's screwed on now let's do the ball stud and for that it just needs a nut on the back side and there's a washer underneath that as well so that would just be the black Aluminium washer underneath that ball stud goes through there, and then a nut on the back of it with the uh, 5.5 driver. There's a lot more work involved in putting this together than the old car because of the all the adjustable plates and so on. But um, it's. Uh, it's definitely time for an update. We haven't had uh, an update on the front end of a Cougar for a long time, really. I mean, on the, on the out hubs, that is. I, mean, uh, I think this is an improvement. Okay, so we're going to start off with more of these top hat things. So, we'll start off with this one. We're going to have to pre-tap the uh, hub as well. Like we did on the last, on the, on the other um, part that we did earlier, the yoke, we uh, pre tapped the holes. So I'll quickly do that. Right, so I pre tapped the yoke, top and bottom here, um, or hub, whatever you want to call it, and now we're going to install the screws with the 1mm and the 2mm space, the 1mm at the bottom. And we'll be using these uh, four screws here, which are all the same size. So the C screw is used, I'm assuming, to put the shocks in. Uh, yeah. The, no, it's not used for that at all. That was a wrong guess. Not sure what they're for, to be honest. Right, let's uh, let's put the hub together and see what happens. So we've got that in there. Got the screws in from one side. This is going to be a bit tricky. I think you could use the quick clips for these. Might make it easier, to be honest. Right, so they're in place. Now we're going to get the washer done. So it's not the one mil plastic washer at the bottom, and then the two mil at the top. That's all kind of held together. Well, I'm holding it flat so it doesn't fall out. And then, fingers crossed, I should just be able to wiggle it in between. It needs a bit of a squeeze to be honest. Yeah, that's, I might try getting the screw in one end first. A couple of turns. And then do the other end because that uh, looks a bit tricky. Right, so I've got the top one in a couple of turns.
Oh, it's definitely going to be a bit tricky to get that in because it's obviously new and uh, a bit tight. Might need a little bit of plastic removing just a fraction just to get it to go in because it looks it doesn't want to go in. But we shall persevere and see if we can get it to go in without any fettling. So it is a very tight squeeze. There we go. Right, let's go for the flat here. I'll just push that one little spacer somewhere in the middle. And then a couple of turns of the screwdriver. It is a bit tight, but I can imagine after a couple of laps around the track that will free up when the plastic wears in a little bit. Or you could uh, run a file over the ends of the hub, but yeah, I can already. I think it wouldn't take long to free up, to be honest. Okay, right, so I've tightened the top and bottom. Two more there, one more there. Yeah, it's a little tight, but it's not. Once you've got the hardware on there and the wheel, that resistance will free, free up pretty quick. So that's one corner done. It's ready for bearings on the spindle. I will continue, finish the other side, and see you on the next section. <laughs>